welcome back. Now it's time for the third video of the video series where we will deploy a containerized web application to a free IBM Cloud Kubernetes cluster by focusing on getting started with continuous integration and continuous delivery using Tekton and the Open Tool Chain on IBM Cloud. In that video, we will do the final setup and the usage of Tekton and the Tool Chain. Now it's time to get the hands dirty. That's the result of the last video. And that's the presentation we go along that we know, okay, which step we did. We did the setup of the tool chain. So the tool chain is there. We have to configure the tool chain. Then we have the free Kubernetes cluster, continuous delivery service, the container registry with the namespace and the source code we want to clone to the IBM GitHub repository we will use. So that's the first step also we will do. We will clone the project and that's the first tool we will add to the tool chain. So let's start with that. We will now going to add that to our tool chain. We open up the tool chain in Dallas. You remember I use the consistent locations and now the empty tool chain here. We add the tool here. Okay, with that we can specify the location where we want to clone from. Here, first of all, we say where to clone and, and what you see here, that's the server of our new GitHub project later on. So, that's the URL. We demark a private repository. We don't want to spend additional effort inside our tasks and steps for authorization to that GitHub project. We track the deployment changes of the code. And now let's do the integration. You can see now it is cloning the project and also set up the issue tracking. Everything is now in place. Let us take a look to that newly created project. You can see here that's the clone available for us here. The next step is that we will set up a delivery pipeline private worker. You know Tekton runs on Kubernetes and with that we can specify different workers for our pipeline later on what we will de define here. Uh, maybe also on different clusters so we can spread the work and, and, and everything is done for us. So, and it's not uh, very difficult to install. So we have a single point of entry to do that and an easy management view. Okay, let's do that. Add that tool to the pipeline. Pipeline worker, we give it a name. So, and uh, with that, we need to integrate, uh, to create a um, service ID API key because later on we want to create maybe more instances of such worker on different Kubernetes cluster, for example. And for that, we need that. And we need also to remember that key. So we create a new key and we copy it <laughs> and we save that key for the later usage. Okay. Create. And that's done. Now we do the, the setup. You can see here later we would have more uh, worker running here in that worker pool, different clusters possibility. But at the moment we will have only one. And here we insert the key and we give the worker a name. So our tech term, example worker. So now we see the cube control commands we can use to set it up. We just can follow that steps. Um, normally we would do that maybe on a local machine, which is directly connected to our Kubernetes cluster. As I promised, we do not have to install anything on your local machine. We just use the cloud shell for do, doing that. We open up the cloud shell. The cloud shell has already pre-configured for you 
the and install the IBM Cloud CLI, for example, and also Git and many more tools here. And also what is very cool that you are already registered here to the IBM Cloud. And with that, we can directly access our cluster. So uh, access our cluster, the, what, we, what we need, we need to get the configuration for the queue con control, yeah. And that is with the, uh, done with that IBM Cloud command. I just copy it and paste it inside the Cloud Shell. And with that, we are connected to that cluster we have here. So, right. We could uh, run uh, get nodes and so on, but, but that, that works. So now we're going to copy that stuff and execute it. What I want to open up, I also want to open up the dashboard, the Kubernetes dashboard of our cluster. And we can also watch the creation of the pods and the uh, namespaces inside the dashboard. So, moving on, copying the next command. So here, run, it creates the parts, does the setup for us. So with that, yeah, it is cool that we do not have really have to spend any effort for the installation on, on the setup itself. Okay, uh, one look again. Yeah, I see. Status works. Cool. L overview now contains the worker we can see here on our cluster today installed. Cool. The next, what we will do is we will set up the pipeline. The pipeline will be the pipeline with, with the Tecton. There are two flavors we can use. There's a classic uh, pipeline configuration we can use in IBM Cloud. And here is that with the Tecton. And I say here, pipeline, doing the integration. And now we do the configuration. So with that, yeah, we can connect to our GitHub repository, selecting the right branch and the path. And now we get the pipeline definitions, the information. Yeah, I, I already showed you uh, these definitions and configurations of the YAMLs and we can validate it. There are 18 warnings, uh, but I remember these warnings are not really relevant. It's about upper cases and so on and just save it. Okay, cool. Done. Um, then we associate a worker. Yeah, that's the worker we want to use. And the next is the trigger. Yeah, we have to trigger when <coughs> code changes happen. Uh, Git repository. You remember there is a definition or already there with the listener. Yeah. So the event listener we have here. Yeah. Okay. Works. Save it. And we add a manual one because we want also to, to start manual the pipeline run. Also save. So we are done with that. And that takes a little bit time here. I will now configure the environment properties for our Tecton pipeline. So now we do the configuration. These are the properties we use inside our Tecton definitions configuration. So that the API key, you remember the API key is the key. Um, how to access the IBM Cloud CLI. Our cluster is called Tecton Example. So, see, yeah, Tecton Example. 
and uh, cluster namespace is the namespace where we want to deploy our application called default namespace the cluster region was uh, us south and the registry namespace that was here in the registry that was the namespace here i created the registry region was the same as the cluster and the repository that's the repository where we get the code from that's that git repository okay we use so these are the parameters yeah for our tecton configurations definition so we can uh, take a look here uh, can see here and now we are ready so we can now do a, a code chain now we can take um, a look into our GitHub project and I'll do a small change in the source code first. So edit. Example run. Say commit change. And then our pipeline will start. Now we build the Docker image and when we are going to build the Docker image we can also take a look into the registry. So here the regist in, the, in the registry the Docker image will appear. Here is the image. The next is there will be a an, an vulnerability check of that image <clears throat> but at the, at the moment we will not stop if uh, the check fails you can see here there was an error but the step is completed the the reason for that is when we take a look in the definition in tech turn here of that task so here is the, the validate task we have the situation that we say here um true it will uh, so when we remove that i will not commit to change last step uh, application we can open up the application in new link so example run works when we go to the kubernetes cluster <clears throat> to the default namespace you can see here the pod is running everything works fine commit the second change and with that we will have the second pipeline run. And you can see now we have the situation. It's failed. It stopped. And that is uh, what I want to show you here. A little bit of the configuration. From there, it makes really sense also to take a look in one of the videos, for example, for Sebastian Daschner. He does a very good description how everything is related. So that's not an objective of that video. So we are done. So it works. Our, our pipeline here, easy uh, single point of entry, tech turn together with the, with the tool chain on the IBM cloud. I hope that is useful for you and you can see here what we have done one uh, last walkthrough we created the image saved the image in the registry then we did a validation of that container and then the container was deployed and we can access the application through the browser all related information is below in the description yeah try it it out by yourself have fun with that dig into the resources i wrote in addition to my blog post yeah have fun and let's see what's next i say bye